Closing. What are you going to do before closing? What's, I mean, this is supposed to close seven days before your closing, so what are you going to do? I, I mean, the, if you use your own title company, they're going to let you know if there's any problems, right? They're going to let you know if the, if the docs aren't in, if the end buyer is getting a loan or getting a hard money, you know, that type of stuff. Go ahead. Real quick, does anybody need a break? So we can take a quick five if you did. Huh? Press on. Press on. Sweet. All right. So closing, my favorite part. 72 hours prior to scheduling, you, you really need to check with the title company and say, hey, what don't you have that you need, and how can I help you get it? You've got to be in control of this transaction, because remember, I don't care if I've sold you six houses. I don't trust you. We can go, we can go sit at the and bar. Trust me. We can go play golf. We, we can trust each other about that. But when it comes down to money and a, a transaction, I trust you to do what you say you're going to do, and I'm going to verify. You know, the CIA's motto is, in God we trust, with all others we monitor. And you need to monitor every buyer you deal with. Uh, make sure everything's taken care of. Inspect before you close. Find out if the buyer's going to need to do a walkthrough the morning of his closing. Find out in advance, because if you don't have the key, et cetera, et cetera, you need to go, you know, you, you're going to have to arrange it. Uh, verify the closing time, uh, verify the numbers on the HUD, get disclosure documents signed. You want to verify the numbers on the HUD because title companies will mess up. Yeah. And they'll they'll mess up on an assignment dollar amount, they'll mess up on, on a deed, on a deed, they'll mess up on deducting your uh, earnest money out of your assignment fee. I mean I've had assignments that's pretty simple. I've had them come back fifteen hundred dollars short. And if you get into complacency mode, then the only recourse, because remember, you sold all your rights and interest to the contract for that fee. Your only recourse is to call uh, Chuck and say, hey, Pops, uh, you mind checking me that check for $1,500? And, you know, the title company messed up. And then he's like, you know, Tim, this deal's already done. I think Let's I'll, just kind of move on. I'll, 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 I'll shoot you seven fifty. Yeah. Right, so you just got to check everything. And then the other thing is about verifying the HUD is with your seller, here's the thing that will make you really successful in this business. Go meet your seller at closing. Make sure you understand the documents and make sure everything met their expectations. Because when their expectations are met and they go to church on Sunday and they hear someone talking about a problem they had in their life and in a house that's a problem with them, who do they tell them to call? You. Because you... Did what you said you were going to do. You took care of everything, and you made sure they were happy. Remember, you were sitting at the table eating that junky cookie, that and, twenty thousand dollar cookie, and, and, right? And you may have only made five grand on that cookie, but they may start sending you other nasty cookies that are worth five grand a pop, and you'll happily eat choke a them five thousand dollar cookie. Down, guys. Yeah. Choke them down. <laughs> because you never know when this guy's going to call you with eight houses spread throughout Carrollton and Dallas. And it's a referral, because if it's a referral versus a cold lead, it's going to take a while. I mean, a referral is great. But cold did you leads. see how he handled that call? You know, it's just kind of, he's, he's treating it like it's a bro, you know, a sister. Or, you know, it's kind of a tough, you know, just, hey, just casual. Just be casual. And you notice he warmed up. And then, hey, just as about you, you buy anything? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you do? Okay. Yeah, check that one out, too. Uh, make sure all the disclosure documents are signed and attend HUD. And then you got, after you make sure your seller's happy, you need to turn around and sit down with Chuck, the buyer, and make sure he's happy. Make sure the title company that you selected treated him right. Make sure his lender, if, especially if you referred him to him, make sure they did right. Make sure everything went well and that he's happy. Why? Exactly. He's happy with that one. He's going to be looking for another one from you. He's not happy with that one, or if he doesn't like that title company, address it then. That way he'll actually consider doing business with you later. All right. That's it. We've got a bunch of resources here. Uh, uh, yeah, resource, dirt cheap signs, banded signs, Vista print. 
thelogocompany.net to get some cheap logos made up for you. If you do want to go the corporate route and get a logo that, you know, uh, click to mail, Google Voice, I, I, you know, some of these are redundant that I had already, but I just threw that slide in.